Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. The South 2 Corridor has emerged as one of Europe's most ambitious infrastructure projects aimed at transforming the continent's energy landscape. By creating a dedicated hydrogen pipeline stretching 3,300 km from North Africa to Germany, this project has the potential to position Europe as a global leader in green hydrogen. But can it truly deliver on its promise? Let's explore the reasons why the South 2 Corridor could make Europe the undisputed leader in green hydrogen and the challenges it must overcome to achieve this goal. At its core, the South 2 Corridor represents a bold attempt to address Europe's growing need for sustainable energy solutions. Green hydrogen, produced through electrolysis powered by renewable energy, is widely regarded as a cornerstone of the global energy transition. It offers a carbon-free alternative to traditional fossil fuels and has applications across industries ranging from transportation to heavy manufacturing. The South 2 Corridor is designed to import over 4 million tons of green hydrogen annually from North Africa, a region rich in renewable energy resources such as solar and wind. This level of import capacity would account for over 40% of the European Union's Repower U target for hydrogen imports by 2030, making the corridor a linchpin in Europe's energy strategy. One of the corridor's most compelling features is its innovative approach to infrastructure. The project plans to repurpose over 65% of existing natural gas pipelines, dramatically reducing costs and speeding up implementation timelines. This reuse of infrastructure underscores Europe's commitment to sustainable development while also addressing the pressing need to establish hydrogen transport routes quickly. New segments of the pipeline will be constructed where necessary, ensuring that the network is comprehensive and capable of meeting the growing demand for green hydrogen across the continent. This combination of repurposing and new construction exemplifies a pragmatic approach to balancing environmental and economic considerations. The South 2 Corridor's geopolitical implications are equally significant. By connecting North Africa's abundant renewable energy resources with Europe's energy-intensive industries, the project strengthens ties between the two regions and fosters international collaboration. North African countries like Morocco and Algeria are well-positioned to become major producers of green hydrogen, leveraging their vast solar and wind energy potential. Europe's investment in these countries' hydrogen production capabilities could catalyze economic development and stability in the region, creating a mutually beneficial relationship. Furthermore, this partnership would reduce Europe's reliance on traditional fossil fuel imports from politically unstable regions, enhancing its energy security. The South 2 Corridor also aligns seamlessly with Europe's climate goals. The European Union has set an ambitious target of achieving climate neutrality by 2050, with green hydrogen playing a crucial role in decarbonizing hard-to-evade sectors. Industries such as steel production, chemical manufacturing, and aviation have limited alternatives to green hydrogen for achieving deep emissions reductions. By providing a steady and scalable supply of green hydrogen, the South 2 Corridor could accelerate the decarbonization of these critical sectors, positioning Europe as a leader in the global fight against climate change. Moreover, the corridor's scale and vision could inspire other regions to develop similar projects, solidifying Europe's leadership in green hydrogen. The establishment of a dedicated hydrogen pipeline infrastructure represents a bold step forward in building a global hydrogen economy. Europe's leadership in this domain would not only set technological and regulatory benchmarks but also create opportunities for European companies to export expertise, equipment, and services related to green hydrogen production, transport, and utilization. Despite its immense potential, the South 2 Corridor faces several challenges that could impact its ability to make Europe a green hydrogen leader. First, the financial investment required for a project of this magnitude is substantial. While the repurposing of existing infrastructure reduces costs, new construction and the development of hydrogen production facilities in North Africa still demand significant funding. Securing this investment will require strong public-private partnerships, political will, and access to financing mechanisms such as the European Green Deal and international climate funds. Regulatory and political challenges also loom large. Hydrogen transport across multiple countries requires harmonized regulations and seamless coordination among national governments and transmission system operators. 
the South II corridor involves stakeholders from North Africa, Italy, Austria, and Germany, each with its own regulatory frameworks and priorities. Achieving alignment on issues such as safety standards, tariff structures, and cross-border hydrogen certification will be critical to the project's success. Additionally, the corridor's geopolitical implications necessitate careful diplomacy to ensure long-term cooperation between Europe and North Africa. Another significant challenge is the development of a robust green hydrogen market in Europe. While demand for green hydrogen is expected to grow, current market conditions remain nascent. Establishing a clear framework for hydrogen offtake agreements, incentivizing industrial users, and creating mechanisms for price stability will be essential to ensure the corridor's viability. Without a strong and predictable demand base, the economic case for the South II corridor could be undermined. Technological challenges should not be overlooked either. While green hydrogen production and transportation technologies have made significant strides, further innovation is needed to reduce costs and improve efficiency. For example, advancements in electrolyzer technology and hydrogen storage solutions could make the corridor's operations more economically competitive. Continued investment in research and development will be crucial to overcoming these technical hurdles and ensuring the project's long-term success. Despite these challenges, the South II corridor's potential to make Europe a green hydrogen leader remains compelling. The project represents a visionary effort to tackle some of the most pressing issues of our time, from climate change to energy security. By connecting Europe with North Africa's renewable energy resources, the corridor could set a powerful example of how international cooperation and innovative thinking can drive the global energy transition. In conclusion, the South II corridor has all the ingredients to make Europe a green hydrogen leader, a clear alignment with climate goals, a pragmatic approach to infrastructure, strong geopolitical partnerships, and the potential to inspire global action. However, its success will depend on overcoming financial, regulatory, and technological challenges while fostering a vibrant green hydrogen market. If Europe can navigate these complexities, the South II corridor could not only transform its energy landscape but also establish it as a beacon of leadership in the global green hydrogen economy. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoyed the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.